today it's cold. It's Sunday and sort of a dull day, day. And after yesterday, I really didn't think I even wanted to get up out of bed. I'm never sewing again, unless it's just to edge a piece of cross stitch fabric. That's it. I am not sewing ever again. This is the knobby thing that broke. This is the knob on the side of the sewing machine that changes the style of stitches. And this cog, this cog with its broken piece, fell inside, inside the internal workings of the sewing machine. So Pat's going to take it in and get an estimate on how much it's going to cost to get it fixed. And frankly, if I never see it again, it will be too soon. I am going to show you the first draft of what we were trying to sew. If anyone laughs, just know that I will be able to hear you all the way from here. This was our first, we never expected to ever wear this. Or even the second pair, which I can't show you because my sister threw them away. This was only to see if we could try and do it. This was cloth my sister had left over from some project that she was doing with her son when her son was a baby. He's 35 now. There's the legs. There's the top part. They were more like gauchos to me. They're going in the garbage. And I'm seriously considering bringing all of the cloth that I do have to South Tube what is it, five? And giving it away to my friend and yours to remain nameless because maybe I won't do it. So after yesterday, by the time we got through everything and we tried to make the pair that, of course, nobody was going to wear because, again, it was garbage, garbage material, they ended up being so that the crotch came down below the kneecaps. And they got thrown away. Pleased me to no end. And by that time it was 5.30 in the evening. So we went out for dinner. And we had Chinese food down at a new place, uh, which was terrific. We had a great meal. And as we left, my sister went her way and we went ours. And Pat was stopped at a red light first. And next to him pulled up another car and three young women, barely women, they were, some would call girls, crossed in front of us. And one, all three were in high heels, one of which was wearing stiletto knee boots, leather, with sleeveless tops. And it was fresh last night. It was a little chilly night. And they were off to the bar, obviously. And all three in mini skirts. And one of them, the mini skirt couldn't have been bigger than this. And my eyes were like this as the three trips to cross the street in front of us. And Pat, course turned his head as they went by and the two boys in the souped up car next to us with their windows down and the music going one of them with the tradition that you know the baseball cap askew looking very cool turned to Pat and said ah you saw that too didn't you the boys in the car must couldn't have been 20 and Pat looked at them and I leaned forward to look at them and I thought that they were going to about die of embarrassment. And I thought it was the funniest thing. It was just hysterical because they were all just 
so excited about this girl, this teenager in this skirt that was stripes, stripes black, black and white going this way, with a skirt on no bigger than this. And they were embarrassed because they made such a comment with a woman right there. And I thought, as I said, I thought it was hysterical. And they were apologizing and falling all over themselves in this car, <laughs> trying to make amends for, I don't know, I don't know whether they thought that I would be offended by that, but I, I, as I said to them, my God, I looked too. It was funny, but maybe you just had to be there. That's it, that's all.